What's cooking operators? Welcome to another Bishta gameplay video. Today's game is called CQB Wars 4. Our first objective is to catch three flags that are at these locations. So we rush to the first one so that we could avoid our opponents. We almost reached the flag but there is a line of enemies in our front. So we start to explore other ways to get there. On this side we start to get casualties so we had to revive our teammates. We tried a new approach through the other flank, while B08 and B07 are providing cover from a safe position. B02 flanked the enemies and started to take them out. Matei dois, matei dois, matei dois. Matei outro, matei outro, matei outro, matei outro no muro. Comecei a avançar. With some opponents down, the rest of the team could advance. Bora, temos que entrar lá para dentro, os gajos estão... Pá, temos que ir lá para dentro. Aí à esquerda, aí à esquerda já. Deve estar lá um gajo enfiado. Não, aquele gajo dos gays está ali, tem que se apanhar, caralho. Não tem ninguém morto aqui, cara. Bora, lá para a esquerda, vai, vai, vem entrar, vem entrar. But there is an enemy inside the building. Foda-se, estava lá um gajo lá dentro, então. Morto a passar. Que puta. B02 managed to take him out and B14 catch the flag. O lá dentro já está, o lá dentro já está. Um, dois. Now he just needs to take it to the flag base. The first flag is ours, now let's catch the second one. We are going to take this building to try and approach the flag. But there are too many opponents around it and there is no way to reach the building where the second flag is. So B01 and B02 with more players from our faction are going to storm the building through the front. Vai, vai. Já, já morreu, já morreu, bora, bora, bora. We take out some opponents who are defending the building and get in. We found the second flag and now we just need to take it to the flag base. Tenha bandeira. 
So we have two flags, but we don't have any more time to get to the third one. So now there's the second part of the game. The new objectives are domination bomb that we must keep in our possession as long as we can. And there is also time bomb that we must take to this location and defend it for 30 minutes. While we were looking for the time bomb, others were securing the area. We finally found the time bomb, took it to the designated location, activated it, and now it was time to keep safe for 30 minutes. Opponents started putting on the pressure, but we held them back. Only 5 minutes left to reach our goal. Six minutes. Vou passar. Okay. The 30 minutes are up and the mission is complete. It was time to conquer the domination bomb that was in the hands of the other faction. Boss! Vai, vai, vai! We started to move into the building to start our sweep. B06 and B08 encountered a lot of opponents inside. Their job was not easy. B06 took out some of the opponents and used grenades, but without success. B14 was also trying to keep the enemies from reinforcing their own faction inside the building. B06 was still trying to breach their lines, but he was hit. B08 was still trying to breach their lines, but he was hit. Our team tried another approach using smoke grenades and we finally got a chance. We were really close to the bomb but time was running out. We breached the building once again but then there was a little misunderstanding regarding the engagement rules inside compartments. It seems both factions got different interpretations about when to use your sidearm and when to use your primary weapon. But all is good, everyone talked with each other and we would have failed this last mission either way because there was no time. To complete it there was just a few minutes to the end of the game. Remember that talking is always the best way to resolve game issues. And we thank Nuestros Hermanos SEAL Team 3 Badajoz from Spain for putting up a great fight in the end. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, sub, check out our social media and website. See you next time and keep on playing.